a three. Cowan throws it to nowhere. Brockington throws it down. Penn State takes down number four. What a scene in State College Tuesday night. Penn State knocking off number four, Maryland. We are joined now by the head coach of the Nittany Lions, Patrick Chambers. And coach, really a remarkable turn of events to watch you guys go from having a really tough outing against Ohio State to knocking off Maryland in the way that you did. What does this win mean for your program? You know, I think it gave us a, a lot of confidence that we can compete with the upper echelon of the of the Big Ten and, and, and nationally, really. I mean, Ohio State is playing like a, a very, very high level. And so we had to take that, we had to throw that, throw that in the trash can and move on and just know that we are a good team. I mean, they had four, four guys make four, three, uh, four threes, so that's going to happen, right? So there's nothing you can do about it. We can't harp on it. What we can do is work on the mental conditioning part of it and say, hey, that's behind us. Let's continue the process of getting better. That's not who we are. Let's come out tonight. Let's compete. Leave it all out there. And that's what our guys did. So what does this mean for Penn State basketball, winning a game like that? It's a great win for us in March, obviously, right? And then we start out 1-1. One and one. You know, Lamar made a little joke last night about being 0-2 and, and sometimes even 0-8 and 0-10. Uh, now you're 1-1. One and one. You have some marquee wins versus Georgetown, Syracuse, Wake. I'll throw Yale and Bucknell in there. And then last night you have a great win against Maryland. But I would say the way we lost on Saturday, it was a big concern for me. Where are we going to come back? Where are we going to pick ourselves off the mat and go out and compete like Penn State basketball? And they really did. So I think this puts us on a national, little bit of a national spotlight. The crowd just sounded and looked great last night, Pat. What did that do for your team? Look, everywhere we go, Dave, you know it's a home court advantage. Last night we had a home court advantage. There was far more students... Our student section not only went across the court, but it went into the end zones. They were incredibly loud. And when we needed the most, it was 52-50, uh, and then it was 54-50, 56-50. And man, do we ride their wave of energy and enthusiasm. I was really blown away by the way you guys guarded throughout the game. I thought on the perimeter you were outstanding. You forced a ton of turnovers. And then when they did get the ball inside, Mike Watkins was tremendous blocking shots. How did you instill that defensive mentality into your team coming into this one? Again, you learn a lot from, from failure, right? Ne never waste a good failure, never waste adversity, and we didn't do that. So we came out and really got in stances. I thought it was the practice on Monday that transferred over to the game. Uh, we really didn't let any of the noise and the distractions deter us from what we needed to do in that game. We did not play great defense against Ohio State. And again, it was maybe more Ohio State than Penn State. And we came out and really guarded. We really tried to build our walls. We fouled a little too much, gave up a little too many offensive rebounds. But I thought overall, I thought Jamari Wheeler and Brockington did as good of a job on count as you possibly can do. And then when we funneled them into the paint, Mike Watkins did a great job. What was the message to your guys after the game? The message was, I, I was so proud of them of, of the, because of the way they responded. Old Miss, tough loss, doesn't go our way. We, we take our foot off the pedal last 636, but then you respond against Syracuse. Now a little bit differently. We haven't lost by 30 in, in I'm going to say, almost four years. We've been really competitive in all of our games. And can you come back and get yourself off the mat and respond again a little bit differently? And we were definitely woozy. So definitely proud of them, the way we responded. And I told them, guys, we have the opportunity to be one of the best teams in the history of Penn State. If you continue to build your walls, limit the noise and distractions, and just focus on every day getting a little bit better. Yeah, I wanted to ask you about that because it is clear what the goal is with this team. It is to be in that NCAA tournament bracket come March. And I sometimes find with teams that start the season with that goal that haven't been in it for a while, that that becomes all-consuming and you lose track of what you need to do along the way. So how do you get them to focus on each day and each task at hand, knowing that all of those things that you do along the way impact that final moment as to whether or not you get in? Dave, Dave you, you must be reading my emails because you, you are so correct. 
you know, if we're thinking about March right now, it's going to be too. It's going to be so overwhelming, so stressful, so much pressure. And I want my guys. Look, we didn't play the smartest basketball in the last two minutes or the last minute thirty-four. A couple ill-advised shots and you know aggressiveness. But I'd rather play to win. And they were out there having some fun, and I want them to enjoy it. So we got to take it day by day, moment by moment, because if we're thinking about March, that is it's just a, it's going to be too much weight on the back of all of our shoulders. So let's just stay in the moment. Let's just try to get better. I talk to them about it every day. You can't win the moment if you're not in the moment. So let's just stay here, be present, be focused, get better, take each game, each practice as they come. Well, Coach, congratulations on a fantastic win. It was really fun to watch and look forward to seeing you soon as your team continues along this journey. I'll see you at the Palestra, Dave. Happy New Year. Merry Christmas. Same to you. Looking forward to it.